Hello, in today's video we will look at the role of endoplasmic reticulum stress in the development of atherosclerosis. So what is the endoplasmic reticulum? The endoplasmic reticulum, or ER, is a network of membranes continuous with the nucleus. There are two basic kinds of ER, the rough and the smooth. In eukaryotic cells, the ER is responsible for the synthesis, modification, and delivery of proteins to their proper target sites. In a quality control process, only correctly folded proteins are exported to the Golgi, while incorrectly folded proteins are retained in the ER to complete the folding process, or they're targeted for degradation. Any disruption in the previously stated roles would lead to ER stress. The most common cause of ER stress is due to the disruption of protein folding. When there are mutant or unfolded proteins inside the ER, a stress response occurs. This response is called unfolded protein response, or UPR. There are two major ways the UPR uses to correct stress. The first is the upregulation of folding capacity. This is done via molecular chaperones, which aid with unfolded proteins and increase the size of the ER, and this deals with protein backlog. The second method is the downregulation of biosynthetic load. This essentially means that the ER stops making proteins and refocuses on degrading proteins that may be misformed. If these two options do not correct the stress response and the UPR has been active for some time, then the cell will take an extreme measure. The cell will initiate regulated cell death to remove itself from the organism. The relationship between ER stress and atherosclerosis is seen in cells known as macrophages. Macrophages remove low-density lipoprotein, or LDL cholesterol, from blood vessel walls, which is metabolized in the ER of these cells. Individuals with high cholesterol levels may induce high macrophage activity, which in turn may overwork the ER of the macrophage and lead to ER stress and UPR. As mentioned earlier, if the UPR cannot deal with this increased stress, cell death is likely to occur. When cell death of the macrophage occurs, this will result in the release of bad lipid molecules into the environment and contribute to the development of plaque and plaque instability. This consequently leads to the progression of atherosclerosis. Currently, research on agents that relieve ER stress, such as chemical chaperones, and agents that target UPR signaling molecules, are under investigation in preclinical models. This research represents a great step forward to understanding and eventually treating atherosclerosis.